Welcome. In this session, we will continue with the Compuplast Virtual Extrusion Laboratory extruder module and build on the work we did in the prior session where we added a three and a half inch 24 to one extruder. In this session, we will run a simulation with this extruder. And before we do that, we want to click on the local materials tab to make sure that we have a material available that we can use for our extruder simulation. In this case, we have a typical 1MI film grade material, and that will be sufficient for now. Under the project data tab, we click the new button to create a new project and we give it a name run one and we click open now this shows the project panel and the first item shows the project name and has the solution type calculate the mass flow rate given an RPM or if we want we could calculate the RPM given a desired mass flow rate in this case, we'll calculate the mass flow rate based on the RPM value of, let's say, 75. And the solution definition can be fixed mass flow rate. For example, this may be a starve-fed extruder, and so the output is, for example, 200 pounds an hour. Or, more commonly, we would run fixed end pressure where the output would iterate in order to balance the end pressure that will be defined shortly. Now, we need to have an estimate of the mass flow rate, which could be provided manually or can be determined by the program automatically by clicking that button. The next item is the materials. And you can see that the project selected the typical 1MI material and is assuming that the material is entering the extruder at the default temperature of 86 degrees Fahrenheit. If this is higher or lower, this can be changed right here. The next item we have to worry about is the temperature settings. And we can assume that we have a moderate temperature for the feed throat. And the barrel temperatures are ramping up from 300 to 325 to 350, and finally 375. And now the pressure, the reference section is the screw tip, and the screw tip pressure is currently set at zero. We will specify that it's 2.5 kpsi, or 2500 psi. Once we've entered that information, and we go back up to our project, you'll see that the Solve button is available to us now, and we simply click Solve, and the program will iterate on the output until it gets the desired balance. So here, we see in the results that the iteration has indeed converged, which is important. So before we proceed with analyzing the results, we wanna make sure that it has converged. And, and the results item in our list, we can see that 75 RPM, the expected output rate would be 277 pounds per hour, and the end bulk temperature would be about 397 degrees Fahrenheit, and the material will have melted at about 19.5 diameters. But if we want to study things more closely, um, we can either look at the extruder tab which looks at the information plotted along the extruder. For example, the average pressure is shown on a color field or whatever variable you would like to see on that color field. Or we have the graph along. In this case, the graph along shows the solid bed width represented by the yellow in between this channel here. And as you move along, the solid bed width gets narrower and narrower as the material melts. And finally, it has all melted by the time it reaches this point, as you saw earlier, around 19.5 diameters along the screw. We can also plot various other variables on here. For example, the bulk temperature 
we can see how the, when the material starts to melt, melt, the bulk temperature increases, and it moves along and increases along the barrel until we get to the end, and the end bulk temperature being about 397 degrees Fahrenheit. And we can also look at the graphs across the channel depth, like here and now at the end of the screw, we can see from this graph here that we're looking at the temperature through the depth of the channel, and we see that there is a um, small maximum here, about 407 degrees Fahrenheit, and in fact, the actual value is 407.4. The minimum is the wall temperature set by the barrel, and you can see how the temperature dips down to the minimum here of 375. And the temperature difference being 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And that would be the expected temperature variation for the material leaving this extruder. That's all for this session. In subsequent sessions, we will show more features and capabilities of the extruder module. Thank you.